House of the Dragon is a tightly woven web of personal and political drama, so it's helpful to revisit the key plot points before diving into Season 2. Season 2 premieres on Sunday, June 16 at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on HBO and Max. If you haven't re-watched Season 1, here's a concise recap to prepare for the return to Westeros. Set 200 years before Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon starts with King Viserys I Targaryen's coronation. Chosen by a council over Rhaenys Targaryen due to gender bias, Viserys' reign kicks off the show. Desperate for a son, Viserys loses his wife in childbirth, leaving him with daughter Renera, whom he names his heir, defying his advisors, including Otto Hightower and Prince Demon. Key characters introduced include Alicent Hightower, Renera's friend and Otto's daughter, Sir Kristen Cole, a knight, and Corlys Valerion, Lord of Driftmark. Viserys marries Alicent, causing tension. Renera faces off against Demon, who allies with Corlys against pirates. Years later, Renera marries Laner Valerion for political reasons. Demon claims the narrow sea but returns to pledge loyalty to Viserys. Renera and Kristen's affair causes scandal. Alicent's suspicions grow, leading to Otto's dismissal as Hand of the King. The timeline jumps, showing Renera and Alicent's growing enmity. Renera's secret lover, Harwin Strong, fathered her children. Demon marries Lena Valerion but returns after her death. Alicent's son Emond claims the dragon Vagar, leading to conflict with Renera's son Lucerys. Viserys' death leads to Alicent claiming Aegon as heir, sparking a coup. Renera, now in labor, loses her child but is crowned queen at Dragonstone. Her son Lucerys is killed by Emond, guaranteeing war. Season 2 continues from this point, with both sides grieving and angry, poised for conflict. With only eight episodes, season 2 will be intense, and the show is already renewed for season 3. Tune in for the premiere on June 16th.